What's up, everybody? Doc Doc1985. There's levels to this. All right, so I'm going to get straight to the point. I'm going to tell you exactly whether or not Game Pass is for you. All right? Stop listening to people that don't even have Game Pass that want to put in their two cents about Game Pass. Right? I have Game Pass, and I'm going to let you know exactly if Game Pass is for you. This is all you need to know. If you have been a faithful Microsoft fan and you have played all their major titles, okay, the Gears, the Halos, the Fables, it, it, the Forzas, all their major all their major titles. If you have played all those games already, okay, and if you are a true gamer and you've played all the, the Witchers, the Assassin's Creed, or the Battlefields, not Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed is not on there yet. That's supposed to be coming up. You play supposed to be joining them, little rumor. But anyways, all the Battlefields, you've played them all. Uh, you've played all Shadow of Mordor. you played pretty any major title that comes out. For the last, I don't know, freaking six, seven, eight, nine, ten years, you've already played. If you have already played the major titles, then Xbox Game Pass is not for you. You're going to be highly disappointed. Because what you're going to see, if you're that type of gamer, is you're going to see a whole bunch of games that are good games that you've already played. And yes, if you go back and play them with the, on the Xbox Series X or the Xbox Series S, you know, they're, they're going to look better, run better, you know, load a little bit faster. But for the most part, it's the same experience that you had when you first played it. So if that's you, Game Pass is not for you. I'm being 100% honest with you. Don't waste your money because all you're going to see is a whole bunch of games that you've already played. And then you're going to see a whole bunch of indie games, right? A whole bunch of indie titles. And those are hit or miss. And to pay $15 a month, that's how much I pay because I got the ultimate, in my opinion, is not worth it. Now, if you're like me, and even though you're a gamer, but last generation, for whatever reason, or the past few generations, when you grew up and became an adult, you just don't have the same amount of time to play games as you used to when you were younger, right? And there's a lot of games that you missed out on, like a lot of games, like you've never played The Witcher 3, never played it. You never played Skyrim. Never played it. Never played Mass Effects. Never played them. Never played any of the Gears. Never played them. Never played any of the Halos. Never played them. Game Pass is for you. The deal that you're getting with Game Pass, no one can compete with. Stop listening to the Sony fanboys that are telling you the Game Pass is not worth it. If you're like me, it is definitely worth it. And here's the thing. If you're a Sony fan, a true and true Sony fan, and you haven't experienced a lot of the Microsoft games, or you, let's say you're such a Sony fan that you mostly played Sony exclusives, which are amazing games. You can't take that away from Sony. This generation, you might want to invest in at least an S so you could try Game Pass and see all the games that you've missed out on. I'm just telling you. If someone asks me right now, hey, hey, Doc, how many games do you have on your Xbox Series X? I couldn't even tell you because it's whatever game I want. Pretty much. I just go to game pass, look at the list of games. And if you can't find a game to play, oh my God, there's so many games on there that I haven't played quantum break control. The thing off the top of my head. What else? I'm about to finish gears five master chief. I got to play that collection. What else I got? I might just try Forza cause it's on there. That's another thing. Game pass is going to let you try games that you would never even try. What's the prison game? Oh my God, I was, playing with my, I was playing the prison game with my six-year-old. The game is fire. What's the, what's the game? A Tale or something like that? It's, like two, it, it's a co-op game where you have to play with the other player to get out of prison. It is amazing. I would have never bought this game. Never, n never. You guys know I'm cheap. I don't spend over, I, I don't spend over $20 for a video game, so I don't, I don't pay for games when they drop. Okay, I don't. So Game Pass, $15 a month to get all these games makes so much sense again because when i go through the catalog of game pass there's a lot of games on there that i haven't played now here's the argument you're going to hear as well right don't you want to own your games don't you want to own your games if you're not a video game collector why do you want to own the game the only reason i was 100 percent against all digital systems is because i wanted to be able to walk into gamestop walmart wherever get the get, get, get the cheap version of the game you know how sometimes target will have like buy one get the other one half half off or whatever buy the game play it that way and then once i'm done once i'm done i want to be able to trade it in sell it on offer up let go mccart whatever i want to be able to get rid of that game and get some type of money back i'm not keeping the game 
I'm not keeping the game. So I'm not even, so in, in essence, I'm still renting the game. But here's the deal. With Game Pass at $15 a month for all the games that you get, you're not going to get a better value even if you sold all those games back. Because some of those games ain't even going to sell back. Some people ain't going to buy them. So you're still winning. You download the game. You play the game. You're done with it. You delete it off your hard drive. Why do I want to keep Gears 1, 2, 3, Judgment Day, and 4 still on my hard drive? Why would I even want to keep the case of Gears? Why? For what? Again, that's me. If you're like me, Game Pass makes tremendous amount of sense. It makes so much sense. It's ridiculous. The offer is ridiculous, especially right now if you're like me. So stop listening to the Sony fanboys that, de- that only have one agenda to destroy Microsoft at, our call- at all costs. I'm not an X-Bot. I'm not an Xbox like, freaking super fan. I critique Xbox all the time. Look at my channel. So, some, of my, some of my fans that are Xbox fans hate when I critique Microsoft. They come at me hard, right? But what I am telling you is Game Pass makes so much sense. Don't listen to people that don't have Game Pass. Now, here's the deal. I have PS Now. And I'm going to tell you this. I got PS Now. PS Now does not even hold a candle to Game Pass right now. Sony could change it, but it doesn't hold a candle to Game Pass. And here's another thing, right? Pay attention because when Sony comes out, if they do come out with their own version of Game Pass, it's going to be epic. And those same people that told you not to get Game Pass are going to be jumping on Sony's new platform. Mark my words. Guarantee you they will. Doc Dog 1985, there's levels to this. Game Pass makes a lot of sense. At me, dog. At me. Let's go back and forth. Let's have this conversation. Leave me a comment if you don't agree. And if you agree, go ahead and leave a comment as well. We out. Peace.